Guys, this is your math person. Today I'll be going over question 145 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, assuming you already attempted it, let's just dive right in. So this basically asks for the variance of y given x is equal to 0.75. So this, we have to use our conditional probability for joint distribution formula. So that basically says the probability of y given x is equal to the f of xy divided by the margin distribution of x. Okay, so let's start off with trying to figure out the margin distribution of x. And we're actually solving it at when x is equal to 0.75. So that's a key here. So then this, by definition, is equal to the negative infinity to infinity of f of xy dy, integrating in respect to dy. Okay, so then let's dive right in. So when x is equal to 0.75, there's actually two spots when that happens, right? These two here. So we actually have to integrate this in term, we have to separate it into two integrals. So one from going from 0 to 0 0.5 and one going from 0 0.5 to 1. So going from 0 to 0 0.5, the distribution function is going to be 1.5 dy. And this one right here is going to be 0.75 dy as well. Taking it antiderivative, you get 1.5 y integrating from 0 to 0 0.5 plus 0.75 integrating from 0 0.5 to 1. Put, putting in the upper limit here, it's going to be 0.5 minus 0. Putting in the upper limit here, it's going to be 1 minus 0.5. So then this ends up being equal to 1.125. Alright, so then this now becomes equal to f of xy divided by 1.125. So what well, already is the probability distribution really? Because again, x at, when x is equal to 0 0.75, there's actually two scenarios that can happen, right? So probability of y given x is equal to 0 0.75 could be actually split up into two integrals here. I mean, two stuff. So when f of x y, that's going to be 1.5 divided by our thing here, 1.125. For when y is between 0 and 0.5. And the second part right here, it's going to be 0.75 divided by 1.125 for when x, y is between 0.5 and y. So that's a key thing here because we want to get, make sure we take care of all of 0.75. Simplifying this down, we get 4 third for when y is between those two numbers and two thirds between 0.5 and 1. We're looking for the variance of y given x is equal to 0.75. So this is equal to, as always, the expectation of y given x, the second moment, plus the expectation of y given x, the first moment squared. So starting off with the second moment here, y squared over x. This is basically just equal to the probability function times y squared. So the probability function going from 0 to 0 0.5 is this here. So that's 4 third y squared dy plus going from 0.5 to 1, we have a different integral. And that's going to be this one right here, 2 third y squared dy. So taking the antiderivative here, you get y cubed 4 ninths integrating from 0 to 0 0.5 plus 2 thirds y cubed, so this would be 9 actually, integrated from 1 to 0.5. So on this side right here, the lower limit is just going to give you 0, so you can just plug in 0.5 cubed plus 2 ninths. Right here, it's going to be 1 cubed minus 0.5 cubed, so this is equal to 1 fourth. Now, try to find the first moment here, y given x. Same, the rate. You're integrating from the same range, 0 to 0.5 of the 4 thirds, but instead of integrating y squared, we're just integrating times y because we're looking for the first moment. And this one's going from 0.5 to 2, 1, integrating just y, dy. So you get y squared here. The 2's cancel out on the top, so you, you're just left with 2 thirds, 0 to 0 0.5, plus 2 third y here. That's going to be y squared. The 2's cancel out here integrating from 0.5 to 1. So then you're left with 2 thirds. The lower limit here is going to just give you 0. So that's 0.5 squared. Plus 1 third. The upper limit 1 squared minus 0.5 squared. This is equal to 
5 twelfths. So then finally putting it back in our variance formula, this is equal to the second moment minus the first moment, the whole thing squared. So first moment here is going to give you 1 fourth minus the second moment, that's going to be 5 twelfths squared. So this is equal to 0 0.076388 which is approximately equal to 0 0.076 or answer C. If you guys have any questions, as always, make sure you leave them down below. Otherwise, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.